bought in for a, for a lot of money. But is it unfair to judge him at the moment because he's not being asked to play in the position that perhaps he's better in? Well, what is his best position? That's that's my big thing with Mason Mount. Is 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 he is he a a sort of a left of a right of a three in midfield or a left of a right of a three up top? What's his best position? And I think that's where we're a little bit caught with him at the moment. Is that he can he can play both, but he's a steady at both at the moment. Yeah. And it's like, when, like he, it's almost like you need to find the niche role for him where he fits into that system. Um, it, it's a, it's an interesting one. And listen, then Eric Ten Hag obviously bought him in for a reason. Knows yeah. that he's going to add quality to that that midfield area. I still think Manchester United at the moment are better when Eriksen plays in the team. I think he brings a, a, an experience. OK, he might not get around the pitch as much as other people and he might not look as intense on the eye. But where his positional sense is, is that he might not need to do as much running because he's already filled that gap. So they might not get overrun because he's filling in areas already through his experience of understanding. I'm not going to quite go make that run because I'm seeing something else here. So it's going to prevent that. And everyone goes... Oh, he's not doing that, but he's already prevented the other side of it that other people aren't seeing. Um, I think, again, when we talk about games and we talk about Chelsea before, games hinging on big moments, the Bruno Fernandes header, if he yeah. scores that, which is a chance we expect him to score because of the quality that he's got, the game swings mm. completely. And these, this is the thing with the Premier League and the quality within the Premier League is that big moments hinge on, on, on incidents like that. I just want to pick up on what you were saying in regards to Villa and you're putting them in the top four. You said Manchester United papered over cracks last season. Are those cracks now beginning to show or is this just a little bit of a... They had a worse start last campaign, didn't they? Yeah, they did. Um, but then the form of Marcus Rashford was quite sensational, wasn't it? It was almost like we knew a moment of magic could change a game for, for Manchester United. They weren't brilliant at times last year, but he would do something special. And that's what special players yeah. can do. The big thing is, is that he's not doing it in the first couple of games, so then Manchester United aren't getting anything out of it. They shouldn't have won the first game. They should have drawn that oh, yeah. game. It should have been a penalty. We... Listen, they might not have scored it, but it would have been an opportunity for Wolves to equalise. Um, and they had ample op opportunities to score. But I think Manchester United need more players. They, they definitely need more quality within the squad. Um, and again, there's times when I watch them and they are far too easy to play against. And, and that'll be a concern for him.